Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome to Gear and Gadgets. Today we're gonna to be talking about HDMI extenders. <laughs> Oh, how do we start it? You may wonder, why do I need an HDMI extender? I have an HDMI cable. Can't I just plug that from my DVD player into my TV? That works just fine as long as your DVD player is within 12 to 15 feet of your television. A standard cable can run up to about 12 or 15 feet. Um, beyond that, you're going to need either a thicker gauge wire within the HDMI cable, which makes the cable really quite big and bulky and difficult to pull through walls or ceilings or run for extended lengths. You can have an active HDMI cable. Uh, in that, those are directional cables where one connector will be bigger than the other and you can't interchange those. That one has to go to the source, one has to go to the TV. What that does is there's a tiny chip in, in the bigger side, the bigger connector, which allows you to, uh, it, it basically it increases the strength of the signal. So what's the answer? The answer is an HDMI extender. Basically, it's a kit. It's a transmitter and it's a receiver. And what it does is it takes the signal from your source device, whether that's a DVD player or your cable box or a video game system, uh, even a computer, and it's going to take that signal and transmit it to the receiver. The transmitter stays with the source device and the receiver goes with the display. In between there, you use what's called UTP cable. That's unshielded twisted pair but really most people just call it cat5 or cat6 or even ethernet cable. Oh, I do have, no, I don't wanna do that. Standard HDMI extenders can go about 180 feet. For longer runs, you can use an HDMI extender with HD base T technology. What that does is it takes the data from the source device, turns it into packets, and then transmits that over the over the Cat5 or Cat6 cable. HD base T extenders can go in upwards of 400 feet. So who needs this? Sports bars, churches. I was at a donut shop and their menu was nothing but like flat TVs. You need an HDMI extender. So hopefully you have a better understanding of what an HDMI extender is, how the transmitter works with the receiver, and why you would want to use low-cost Cat5 or Cat6 cable to run the couple hundred feet you need. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what, what, how, how should I end that?